In this video, we would take an overview on PT exam. PT stands for Pearson Test of English and it is conducted for migration or study purposes for countries like Australia, Netherlands, Denmark, etc. PT Academic is a single three-hour computer-based exam which assesses on your listening, reading, speaking and writing communicative skills. You will use a computer and a headset to listen to, read and respond to questions. In this video, we would take an overview on all the four modules, speaking, writing, reading and listening. We would try to understand the challenges that we would face in achieving our desired score of 79 plus in each of these modules. And we would also go through different ways that we can, our 100 plus videos can help you deal with those challenges and achieve your dream score. So it's a three hour slot where you would start with the speaking module followed by writing and there's a 10 minutes break between reading and listening module. Now through these four communicative skills, listening, reading, writing and speaking, you're basically being tested on your enabling skills of grammatical range and accuracy, oral fluency, uh, pronunciation, spellings, vocabulary and written discourse. Now, for example, through different question types, you'll be tested on you know, each of these enabling skills. Through your speaking module, you'll be tested on oral fluency and pronunciation. Through your question type, like fill in the blanks in the reading module, you'll be tested on your grammatical accuracy and vocabulary. Then spellings and written discourse are being tested on through your essay writing and summarized text question type for the reading module. Now, written discourse is about the connectivity between the words and the points in, in, a, in a stanza. So, it indicates the coherence or cohesion and you have to ensure that whatever you write has to be well connected so that the examiner can get the right message and ideas as intended. The first module that we start in the main exam is the speaking module. It has multiple question types, read aloud, repeat sentence, describe image, retell lecture and answer short question. So through these 100 plus videos, we have a structured curriculum where we would start with an introduction video on each of these question types, followed by you know, explanation on the strategies, tricks and shortcuts that would help you you know, answer these questions correctly. We would also provide some practice questions that would help you apply the concepts learned towards a high score. Now let's take an overview on different question types of the speaking module. Read aloud. In this, a text would appear on the screen and you would have to read the text aloud. You would get six to seven questions of this. Now in repeat sentence, you will have to repeat the sentence in about 15 seconds and uh, in describe image, you would get 40 seconds to give your response. An image would appear on the screen and you would have to describe the image in detail. Now this is a high weighted question type of the speaking module. Retail lecture would involve you to retell the lecture in your own words in about 40 seconds. Then answer short question. You have to answer with a single word or a few words in about 10 seconds. So as you can see, through these question types, you're being assessed on multiple skills. So through these 100 plus videos, we would explain you how each module is interdependent on another. So if you want to improve your score in any of these modules, you will have to understand all the question types that which are testing you on that skill. So for speaking module, for example, even if you have all these, you know, five question types, you know, intact and you may be confused about why you're still getting a low score, you will have to look at other question types in other modules which are testing you on speaking skills. So we teach you how to focus on high weightage question and how to emphasize on all those question types that would help you get 79 plus points in each of these modules. Now let's try to understand the challenges that you would face in speaking. The first important big challenge that you face is oral fluency, especially when you have very less time to prepare your response. So if you do not speak for a few seconds, the mic would get turned off. So 
it's very important you do not get into a frenzy mode so that is why we provide you customized templates for each of these question types for all the modules then the mock test that we provide are AI scored and the automatic evaluation that we provide for a test is exactly as your main PT exam. So that would help you recognize your weak areas and so that you can focus on them to get a high score. Then content is also one challenge that you could face. Uh, you may not be you know, aware or familiar with all topics. So if you get something that you are n not familiar with, you may find it very hard to brainstorm the ideas. So we help you with some strategies that would help you brainstorm on varied topics. We would explain the speaking structure and how to use it appropriately. Then coherence is one area that we would really emphasize on because everything has to be well connected and you have to be fluent in your speaking to get a high score. Then pronunciation and body language also plays an important role. So a lot of times students do not maintain a uniform, you know, a voice modulation. Sometimes they have a high pitch and all of a sudden it goes low. So it's important to have a consistent pace while speaking that helps to boost your confidence level also. Time management is a very important uh, you know, challenge that you would face since you have only 25 seconds, for example, for the scribe image to prepare, you may find it very less to, you know, jot down your points. So therefore, you need a lot of practice so that you know how to manage your time effectively on varied topics. So we would provide you 50 plus practice lessons on each of these question types. And we have a structured approach that helps you deal with any kind of topic to get a good score. Next module is writing. You have two question types, essay writing and summarized written text. Let's take an overview. Summarized written text is about reading a text and write a one sentence summary of the passage. You have to answer this in 10 minutes. Then you have essay writing where you would get 20 minutes to write 200 to 300 words essay on a given topic. Now let's try to understand the challenges that you would face in writing. The first big challenge is content. So you could get any topic. You may be familiar with it. You may not be. You may have heard of it. You may not have. So you may find it challenging to brainstorm your ideas instantly in a limited time. So we would provide you 50 plus repeated essays in these 100 plus videos. And we also have few videos which are only focused towards how to brainstorm you know points on different topics so we would discuss various strategies that would help you you know prepare your vocabulary on different topics then grammar plays an important role and we've already provided in-depth basic grammar sessions followed by advanced concepts and we have detailed sentence structure tutorials that would help you improve your sentence formation we've also covered the commonly made errors so that you can take care of them and not make those errors and work towards your improvement vocabulary is one challenge when you have a topic that you're not aware of you may just run short of words you may not find the right words to address the topic or to support your stand so we you know provide you pre-compiled set of words and writing you know collocations on varied topics and uh, the templates that we provide you help you with about 60 70 percent of vocabulary so that you just have to insert few words which are specific to that topic and that's where we help you in improving the structure of the essay where as i just said we help you reduce your 50 to 60 percent workload by you know providing you 79 plus essay templates on varied topics and the practice sessions provided along with are very very useful now reading is the next module fill in the blanks reading is the first question type fill in the blanks reading plus writing reorder paragraph passages single answer passages multiple answer so let's take an overview of the reading module as you can see we have different question types multiple choice choose single answer you have to read the text and you have to choose only one response then multiple choice choose multiple answer we have to necessarily choose more than one response. 
reorder paragraph where you have several text box boxes which are just placed in random order you have to rearrange them and place them in the right order so that all the points are well connected to make a meaningful stanza then reading fill in the blanks so fill in the blanks reading and fill in the blanks reading and writing both are high weightage question types in the first reading a text appears on the screen and you have to drag the words and you have to fill the gap then reading and writing fill in the blanks a text appears on the screen with several gaps each question has multiple options to choose from so it could get time consuming so what are the challenges that you would face in reading the most important and the big challenge that you face is time management you might just spend a lot of time on you know question types like passages and reorder paragraph but they have much lesser a weightage than fill in the blanks so if fill in the blank happens to come at the last in the order in the exam you might end up giving the least time and that's where you would go wrong with your time management you have to work on your high weightage question types to get a good score so that is why we give you a lot of practice questions about 800 plus repeated questions which are included in the videos to practice and improve your time management skills then grammar is another important challenge that you would face so we help you deal with it by providing in depth basic and advanced grammar sessions and tutorials on sentence structure sentence formation the commonly made errors followed by practice exercises that would help you apply and cons and consolidate the concepts learned vocabulary is another challenge especially in fill in the blanks where you would find multiple options that have same literal meaning but only one of them would fit in the sentence so we you know provide you the academic collocation list and give you most repeated vocabulary words that would help you improve the your band in the reading module now let's discuss the last module which is listening we have multiple question types summarize spoken text which is of high weightage write from dictation highlight summary you know fill in the blanks multiple choice single answer multiple answer select missing word highlight incorrect words so we talk about an overview on the listening module Summar uh, summarize spoken text in this you have to listen to the recording and you have to write a 50 to 70 word summary so it basically assesses you on two skills you have to listen and write so listening and writing you would get about 20 to 30 minutes to answer these questions you would get two to three questions on these then you have multiple choice choose multiple answer where you would listen to the recording and you would answer a multiple choice a uh, question by selecting more than one response you would get two to three questions of this kind then we have fill in the blanks where we have a transcript of recording which that appears on the screen with several gaps after listening to a recording you have to type the missing word in each gap so you would get two to three questions then you have highlight correct summary after listening to a recording you have to select the paragraph that best summarizes the recording so you so that would test you on your listening and reading skills both the next is multiple choice choose multiple answer so yeah that's the same as what you've done before you would have to choose your more than one response then select missing word after listening to a recording you have to select the missing word that completes the recording from a list of options so that tests you mainly your listening skills then highlight incorrect words you have to identify the words in the transcript that differ from what is said so that test you on your listening and reading skills and write from dictation is also quite important if you want to get a good score in listening so after listening to the recording you have to type the sentence so it tests you on your listening and writing skills both now let's talk about the challenges the first big challenge that you would face is pronunciation so we provide you some brainstorming techniques and we also provide you the templates that would you know in fact consist about 60% of fixed vocabulary you might just have to insert the words that would make your answer appropriate to a specific topic so these templates since it has about 60 to 70 you know percent of vocabulary which remains the same we can always correct ourselves on the pronunciation of those words we can try and 
improve the pronunciation of as many commonly used words as we can. Then sometimes we face challenges with the native speaker's accent. So in these 100 plus videos, we provide you tips to improve our listening skills using prediction strategies. The listening exercises are, you know, which are provided in these videos are based on various accents. So it would also improve not only your listening skills, but also your speaking skills to a certain extent. Then content is very important. We provide you pre-compiled set of words, easy to use for any essay topic. Then indirect questions, you may not get the exact word. You have to learn how to manage with just three, four phrases from audio and still score maximum points. Now, why do you think you should go for our pre-recorded video sessions? Because we have a structured curriculum. We start from the basics and gradually increasing the difficulty level. We have all our basic fundamentals covered in the videos and the videos, they adapt to very difficulty levels suiting the capabilities of all kinds of candidates. Then we provide you strategies that would help you on each of these question types to get a high score. Then we provide you consistent evaluations and evaluations is very, very important because if you just understand the concepts and you keep you know practicing for example essay writing and if you don't get yourself evaluated you may never know where you're making a mistake and all your practice may go in vain so therefore our mock test you know provide you detailed evaluations on and feedback on each of your questions that would help you understand which areas to work on to get a high score the unique content that we provide would really help you to achieve your dream score. So we focus on structure and coherence and all our videos are result driven. We are focusing on evaluation patterns and high scores and that's how all the templates have been designed, keeping the scoring criteria in mind. They are as effective as live sessions since they are in detail, in depth and you know, structured in a way that they will progress from easy to intermediate to high difficulty levels. Then we would cover all the traps and we would help you identify the challenges in advance so that you can avoid the traps towards you know, achieving your a high accuracy rate. Time management is something that uh, you would learn in all these video sessions. We would give you a timeline for each of the questions and you will have to adhere to it. We would also teach you the tr uh, strategies and tricks that would help you learn to strategize the exam and focus on high weightage question to get your dream score of 79 plus points in each of the modules. So that's all about our demo video on our pre-recorded sessions of PT. I hope this was useful to you. So we would deliver more than what we promise so that you can see your dream coming through in the least possible time and in the first attempt. Thank you for your time.